Hi and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union. We're here today to discuss a report that the Union sent out regarding the death of FBU member and firefighter Stephen Hunt, a Greater Manchester firefighter who was killed in July 2013. We're joined by the Executive Council member for the North West, Kevin Brown. Now Kevin, the Union has gone on record as saying that this death was a catalogue of errors and another needless firefighter death. Why do we say this and what's the background to this incident? Well, Stephen was part of a crew that attended a, a large incident in the centre of Manchester in July 2013 on what was the hottest day of the year. Um, the fire had been burning for several hours and Stephen was part of the night crew who attended. Um, it inv involved resources from all over Greater Manchester and what happened from our perspective, we sat through seven and a half weeks along with our legal team and the family of Stephen and Jeremy, his, his BA partner, and we listened to expert witness and first-hand accounts of what had gone on that day, and we were astonished to realise the similarities, if not parallels, with other incidents that, uh, that we'd had coroner's reports from and we'd investigated as a trade union. Now, you sat through, as you said, the, the coroner's inquiry with the family. What were the lessons that came up as a result of that, and what parallels did they had? to other firefighter deaths? Well, it, it did seem to us that, uh, and having read the coroner's reports uh, from previous incidents, that recommendations had been made and policies had been produced, but none of these policies, or very few of these policies, appeared to be actioned. Well, no, look, Matt Rack, the General Secretary of the Fire Brigade Union. Matt, you know, you've been partly authored in this report. You talk in there about the need for lessons to be learned as a result of this incident. What are these lessons and what's the union doing about making sure they are learned? Yeah Tom, I think what, we, what we've done in the document is pulled together a whole series of documents, letters uh, relating to the, the inquest. So from the coroner to the Home Secretary, uh, from ourselves to the coroner to the Home Secretary and so on. And it's an ongoing process. So there's a discussion uh, still underway between the Home Office and ourselves uh, and others. And I think Kevin has, has really uh, made a very powerful point. It is that what we've identified after analysing very carefully this incident and previous incidents is that there are some common themes common errors which have already been identified. So when we talk about lessons learned, the problem is that some of these lessons were learned many, many years ago and they've simply not been applied. That is very alarming because if we're serious about uh, learning lessons, then those lessons need to be apl applied uh, in every single fire and rescue service and we need to have systems in place to make sure that an individual service is not making repeating the mistakes that another one may have made 10 years earlier. Well, Mike, this report has gone out right across the fire and rescue service community, including um, chief fire officers. What's the union doing to drive these points home in the individual authorities? Well, we've, we've uh, got a, a plan of action we're developing uh, with our local uh, health and safety reps. So we have health and safety committees in, in every fire service. We want the issues identified by the coroner. And the coroner is very clear that this matter should be discussed in every fire and rescue service through the health and safety committees on which clearly the union uh, sits. So we, we're going to be making sure that happens. We're carrying on with our discussions with the Home Office. Uh, and we are uh, also calling a lobby of parliament at the end of the month uh, where we will be sending out a, brief, a shorter briefing to all members at home on this issue so people can uh, read that, also read the report uh, through the fire station or online uh, and we'll be going to MPs to, to raise some of these issues centrally with government and with, with other people in parliament. Now Matt, just a final word, um, Stephen's mother Susan, who Kevin and others supported throughout this process, has some very kind words about the support offered by the Fire Brigade Union, including the financial support, a word than that. Yeah, I think uh, it, it is, there's, there's no more challenging thing for the Union than to deal with uh, such a serious incident where somebody uh, is unfortunately killed in the line of duty and it puts a huge strain on local officials who have to provide support to the family, to the other members who attended the incident, uh, who have then to conduct an investigation, a very thorough investigation and then, and, and as Kevin set out, this is a long, long process of investigation, uh, a police investigation, 
investigation, health and safety investigation, and then an inquest, and then other legal processes. So it's a very demanding uh, uh, thing for the union to, to, to deal with. And what I'd say to members is, is that actually it can only be done because we've got a well-organised union. Uh, we've provided first-class support to, to the family in this case and in every other similar uh, case, and that's because ultimately it's down to our members' uh, support and membership of the FBU. Right, thanks. You can read this report, and I'd encourage that you do so online at our website, and that's www.fbu.org.uk. And the report will be raised in all fire and rescue services across the UK. Until the next time, thanks so much, Kevin, and thanks very much, Matt. Thanks, Tom.